Do you work for a nonprofit or NGO? Or would you like to volunteer your time to work with one of those organizations? Here are four different examples of how lean can be applied to those organizations, help them reduce time, save money, and increase their impact. The first group is St. Bernard Project, based out of New Orleans. Their first project was to decrease the lead time to rebuild homes after natural disasters from 116 days to a target of only 50 days. They identified delays from waiting for the trades to be available, which could take up to 40 days, long volunteering phases, which can run almost 22 days, and trades components that are failing to arrive on time, which could be another four days. The improvements they implemented resulted in a lead time reduction down to 61 days, a 48% reduction from their original 116-day baseline, nearly meeting their target of 50 days. But the biggest impact was that it increased house output from 4.8 per month up to 8. You can learn more about this project at the link below. You will find out how they worked with the Toyota Production System Support Center to learn about these lean methods and concepts and how they got coaching and mentoring from them over a series of months. You can also hear about the book they published called Getting Home, which documented their lean journey over the past couple years. The next group is the Food Bank for New York City. The Food Bank was running into issues that they couldn't distribute enough meals to residents in need and they were running out of food with people still left in line particularly after natural disasters like Hurricane Sandy, when supplies are very limited and residents are most in need of food. With the support of the Toyota Production System Support Center consultants, they streamlined the packing and distribution processes by adding in conveyor belts at multiple points in the process. They also changed the work layout and tasks to dedicate people to packing the boxes and others to replenishing and organizing the supplies. They also changed the box size so that they could fit more boxes onto a truck and not ship so much air. As a result of their improvements, they were able to pack one box from the original baseline of three minutes down to only 11 seconds. They increased the number of boxes into the truck from 864 to 1260. And they reduced the time to distribute the boxes from three hours down to 1.2 hours, even with the additional 400 boxes. The link below will take you to a YouTube video that shows you all the different improvements that they implemented. Free Geek is a nonprofit organization in Portland, Oregon. They refurbish and reuse different technology like laptops, computers, mobile devices, and other supplies to allow people to gain access to technology that can't afford the latest technology. They were stretched thin with limited staff and volunteers during the pandemic but they had an immediate spike in demand for refurbished laptops for those who were learning at home. A couple years prior, they had taken some lean training and were able to implement methods such as 5S, Kanban, visual dashboard or scoreboard, and able to empower the staff and volunteers, which led to an increase in the refurbished laptop production by 300%, going from 100 per month up to 300 per month. They also reduced the number of people they needed in the production area from six, which was made up of two staff and four volunteers, down to just one full-time staff person. You can click the link below to read about how they were awarded for their work as the Excellence and Sustainable Development winners through IISE back in 2021. Project Cure was a project conducted in Houston, Texas this organization collects and sorts donated medical supplies and equipment and distributes them to developing countries. Students from the University of Houston help streamline the processes for their Lean Six Sigma course project. They observe transportation, motion, inventory, overprocessing, and waiting wastes during their gimbal walk. An organized cabinet was then created for their supplies, and floor markings and signage were added to better label the bins and the containers. After many different process improvements, the team reduced the sort time by 65% and reduced walking distance by another 15% in the pre-sorting process. You can learn more about that project in the link below. If you'd like to learn more about 
process improvement, such as Lean or Six Sigma methods, check out the low-cost online courses available through OpEx Learning, where you can also learn some of these methods and apply them to your organization or your volunteer activity with nonprofits. We offer a Lean Fundamentals course, which is some of the topics described in these case studies. If you'd like to do more data analysis and dig into more challenging, deeper issues, consider checking out the Lean Six Sigma White Belt, Yellow Belt, Green Belt, or Black Belt course. At the Green Belt and Black Belt level, you can also have your project reviewed for certification. So visit leansixsigmadefinition.com shop or visit leansixsigmaforgood.com and look for online training.